is Laura Geller's famous spackle. But now, drum roll please, since June, with yep. SPF 30, because you guys asked Ask for, for some it. SPF in your spackle, because so many of the ladies out there just put on their spackle, maybe a little lip color, maybe a little mascara, and they're out the door. That's right. So, or they were great. using spackle and then putting their makeup on, but they mm -hmm. didn't have some protection in their makeup, perhaps. So for two to three years, you all said, why can't you do spackle with SPF? What I wasn't gonna give up, Carolyn, was the formula that yeah. we're known for. We put under makeup primer category on the map, and it stemmed back from theater makeup. Mm -hmm. What I learned in theater makeup was that in order for your makeup to really last on these starlets I was making up for Hollywood, television, and film, was to do it on a matte skin. And then they can be under hot lights, they could sweat, they could perspire, and their makeup's not gonna move because it's so dry and matte. Mm -hmm. That was so not practical mm -hmm. for anybody else. One day I was working on a very famous celebrity, and she said, I hope you have more than makeup in your kit. I need some spackle. <laughs> <laughs> and it just hit me at that moment that I can't put makeup on someone's skin without giving them hydration, but I want their skin to look smooth, evened out, like I filled in every line and crevice. Yeah. And that's how the name came to be. And now, I mean, famous celebrities talk about it. It's really iconic. And Spackle, without the SPF, which was the original formulation, has sold like thousands and thousands. Millions. And millions and hundreds and millions yes, of, of, of oh, units. There's my brow. everybody <laughs> loves it. And everybody has it. And everybody wants it. You know, it, it just makes your skin so silky smooth. That's right. And everything glides on and adheres better when you have it on you first. Bet. So what you're looking at here is the same exact properties that are in all of our spackles except now we're giving you SPF of 30. It's not sticky. It's not oily. It's not chalky. It disappears into the skin but it leaves you with this glow and let me explain why okay. under makeup primer is so important. You know we may all have fabulous skincare and creams but unless you prime your skin first, you're not doing yourself a favor. So this would be the last step. Do everything you're doing, doesn't matter what range you're using, this would be the last thing you do to your skin before you put on any kind of foundation. Okay. Now I should say that because a lot of people wear different formulas. The baked formula, the best, because here's what the difference is. This is locking in all of the skincare you use, Carolyn. It's making it last longer, but it's smoothing out the surface of the skin to give it a silky, gorgeous satin finish that prepares the skin for your foundation so that your foundation glides on easier, you need less of it, yeah. and your foundation's not gonna go into your pores now. And look at the glow she gets. Just it looks look at like that such one side. dewy, youthful skin with this. And so if you are a gal who does not wear makeup, and I know you're just watching the show because you love Laura, and, you, and she's, you're so fun and entertaining, and we just love you. Love you back. This is the one thing you should buy because this will make your skin look more youthful oh. and dewy and smooth if you have enlarged pores here and there or uh, some other type of imperfection or your face is less than totally smooth this will really really make you look beautiful and if you are wearing makeup uh, this is something that you will wear underneath and your makeup looks even better and the other thing i want to mention too if you're doing a skincare regimen uh, that is especially at night um, or now with the SPF 30 daytime too, this locks in all of your everything. serums, all of your creams, everything you put on your skin so it doesn't rub off during the day or come off on your pillow at night. This That's is a right. must have. And it's soothing. So if you've got mm -hmm. an irritated skin, let me tell you what's in here. White tea, scintilla asiatica, chamomile, ginkgo biloba mm -hmm. extract. Not only are we giving you properties that are soothing that irritated skin, but now we're giving humectants to hydrate your skin. Yeah. The difference is when we formulate our under makeup primer, it glides on the skin and it will not penetrate in the skin. So when you go to put your foundation on top, it's not gonna take in your makeup. That right. is why your makeup was disappearing before. Right. You were putting moisturizer or serum. It's an emollient. Your skin's hungry for moisturizer, mm -hmm. right? right? So now you put blush and foundation on top, it's taking yeah. it in with everything else. So that's why it gets blotchy. That's right, and not our under makeup primer. It won't happen with this. And so, you know, if you're using Josie Marin and some oil or something on your face, you need to put this on on top. That's right, and thank um, you for making it customer top rated. Yes. That means the world to now me. Now with SPF 30, this is new. If you've got the uh, original spackle, you need to get this as well because this protects your skin during the day as well as makes your makeup look fabulous.